What will your husband say is the most ridiculous thing you've ever seen him imitate? And be very specific, because he's going to have to do that imitation. <laughs> to take a call? Mm -hmm. okay. Are you ready to take a call? I think I asking? am. Are you okay? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's uh, put you over with Justin from Madisonville, Kentucky. <laughs> I'm sorry, Justin? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> what can I help you with this? <laughs> anyway, uh, my question is about uh, spam right. on the internet. Um, from, uh, from my email, I mean. Hello? Shake him, shake him. <laughs> I think that he's finally <laughs> lost it. Set. Background. Much, much, sorry. Reset. Quiet, quiet, quiet. Much gusto. <laughs> <laughs> Mucho gusto. <laughs> and here comes Mary. Seven twenty. Seven hundred and twenty dollars. All our bids are locked in. Good luck to you all. Our price seven nine nine. Mary wins. <laughs> A South Africa man is counting his blessings and his teeth after escaping from a python attack. Lucas Sibanda claims the giant snake attacked him as he was walking along a remote path near his home. He fought back, and the only way that he could fight back was by biting the snake just below its head until the snake released him. Sibanda then killed the reptile with a sharp stick and took it home with him. He is now quite busy. <laughs> He's now quite busy showing off the massive snake and the carcass. Oh. <laughs> Pythons, which suffocate their prey by constricting their bodies around them, have been known to attack antelope, but attacks on humans are extremely rare. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Rob, this is Fashion Week over in Paris. The latest fashions are on the runway for next spring. But there was a problem out there today. One of the British designers' shows had a difficulty. A model fell down twice. That's her going down once. The young woman wearing that pink skirt and the orange platform shoes. Never quite recovered after that. There she goes. <laughs> that had to hurt. That was uncool. That's embarrassing. This is at least the second time. <laughs> well, you all are just really tickled by that, aren't you? You try walking in those shoes. <laughs> First of all, baby, I got enough meat on me that it's all right. 
I'm sorry. Come on. We want to apologize. Hold on. Hold on. You want me to be airborne? Oh, oh, you're a dog. Oh, he lives to do that to me. Now, see, y'all going to send your letters of complaint to me. He started, not me. He made me My laugh. Bad. My bad. You're bad. What's your sports, George? Oh, look, let me take the water away. I'm well, Robin Bryson got so sick of the mess. You know what she did? She hired somebody, a personal organizer, oh. mm -hmm. to get her garage in shape. This expert said the first thing to do is buy some organizing supplies like oh. baskets and storage units. She actually paid for that advice. <laughs> Next, empty out the garage. Duh. <laughs> Make piles of everything that belong together. For example, automotive supplies in one place, kids' toys in another. Oh, that kind of makes sense, right? Works. Here's another one good for you that this woman paid for. Donate or throw away stuff you don't use. Oh. Now, who'd have thought of that? Then put what's left back in the proper place. <laughs> Wait a minute, let me say that again. Put what's left back in the proper place. Oh, okay. <laughs> Anyway, there's more, but, you know. You Just can... hire that person to, to come in over and do it for you if you can. Or better yet, assign a teenager to that job. So anyway, Bob, you got your garage cleaned out for spring yet? Yeah, I'm, I, wait, I was taking down the notes here, and uh, I think I'll find When Did all else like fails, job, build a new garage, I guess. Outside uh, right now, we have had a beautiful, beautiful day, and uh, maybe a few. Um, you're very cut. Cut? You're very cut. You are cut. Oh, oh, is that a word? Yes. Shelly? Yes. Write down cut. I got, I got to ask my 16-year-old uh, if he knew that. Yes, I am very cut. It meant something different when I was a kid. <laughs> Especially if you were Jewish. <laughs> but go ahead. <laughs> I am very cut. You know, I thought I got too cut, as a matter of fact. <laughs> Can I finish my question? Yes, cut, cut, I'm cut. You're telling me I'm, I'm cut, but... No, I'm cut. Go ahead. No, I was just noticing. I am cut. The pike you have. Yes. The what? <laughs> the pike? <laughs> That's what got cut. It's my pike that got cut. I've been trying to tell you. <laughs> they cut my... They cut our pikes. <laughs> Go ahead. I never knew it was called a pike. I, I, I always no. called mine a bass. But no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Some have purchased. <laughs> but tell me about yes, Mike. Go ahead. I'm God. I gotta write down pike and shit. <laughs>